Oh, got to turn my microphone on. <clears throat> okay, here's X1. And I got a gable roof here. I'm going to go over to the build dialog and go under roofs. We'll auto build an auto float floating dormer. Okay, there's a dormer. Whoops. <laughs> what happened to my dormer? There it is. Come on, I need to show up. There we go. <laughs> and once you've got an auto dormer in place, you can click on the thing, open its dialog box, and change the dormer type to a barrel or any other kind. But let's just do barrel. And there's the barrel. Okay. But you don't want this under, under overhang here. Let's look at your picture. So it's got right on the edge and the roof is cut out around it. So this is what I've, what I've got going here is a, a starting point. Now I'm going to explode that dormer. See right there? Explode dormer. That breaks it into its constituent parts. I'm going to go back to plan and do some more surgery on this thing. We're going to cut out the roof using the brake lines tool. This is, by the way, Larry did a great job. I enjoyed watching him work. This is not what I'm doing here is not the only way you can do this. It's, it's like Larry. It's another way to do it. Okay, I just broke the, the, the roof out. And I'm going to get rid of a hole in the roof. There's a hole in the roof polyline here. Which I'm going to hit the tab key until I find it. It might be turned off. Let me make sure that it's turned on. It's on its own layer under roofs. Uh, where are you? I think it's roofs penetrations or something like that. <laughs> where oh, there it is, roofs opening, see? It's turned on, I just can't see it. I don't care what that says or what it means. Okay. I, I need to find that polyline is chopping a hole, or there was chopping a hole in the roof. It's there. There it is. I just selected it. Let me drag it over here so you can see it. When you create a dormer object, that little sucker is part of the deal. I just drug it over there. <clears throat> we'll look at it in an up. See, it cuts a hole in the, in the roof. But I've already cut out manually the roof around that. So I'm going to get, I, I just wanted to show you that, uh, it's there and you have to get rid of it in order to do what you want to do. Okay, we're almost there. And uh, the part Larry was struggling with a little bit in his video was uh, tying in this roof. And what I'm going to do is take this upper edge and make sure it's selected. And click on the Join Roofs tool and then join it to that edge of that... Uh, See, got kind of a complicated polyline here for the roof. There's that. <clears throat> I'm just going to try uh, joining that to the edge of that. Okay, it's not working. I put a break in the middle. Maybe I can. Maybe I can curve that. Just click on that segment and then use the... Uh, okay, I don't see the command there in the edit toolbar to make that into a curve. But I do have the break line tool. I'm going to put a break in it. Break it into two lines. It didn't break into... It didn't break. It's not breaking. I had that problem with X1 before that use the brake line tool wouldn't work. You just have to be persist and get a break in there. <laughs> Not having much luck. <clears throat> well, let me get rid of some of these uh, polyline edges. Uh, I guess we want it there, don't we? I'm just trying to make this polyline, like Larry was working on, making this a little simpler. There, I think that 
that's a little bit better. Let's try the join roofs tool again. Well, it's not being very cooperative. But that's the thing about this software. I see users saying, well, it wouldn't let me do this and it wouldn't let me do that. Well, then you, if it's not cooperating, you just make it cooperate. I'll just shape the uh, edge closely to, to uh, if I can ever get the brake line tool to work. I get zoomed in and I can't uh, select the select the thing. Well, the brake line tool is what I'm having problems with. I wanted to put a brake here and just shape this around there. Which uh, this video is not about why X1's uh, brake line tool doesn't work very well. That's how you would need to do it. I, I've got it pretty close. It's just I'm not having very good luck breaking this line in so that it's fits the edge of the of the roof planes there. I'll make one more attempt. Well, I'm just gonna grab this edge here and put it up there. Yeah, I've got a little bit of a hole right there. Well yeah I remember why I don't like X1. <laughs> Uh, i tell you what, I'm just going to pull this down a little bit and see if that helps the appearance. That it helped a little bit. <clears throat> now, why the brake line tool is not working is not really part of the tutorial. It's just the fact that X1's uh, brake line tool was kind of iffy. And obviously it still is. They never fixed that. It works quite, quite, quite well in X2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So that's the end of the video. Uh, that's my take on how to get it done. And uh, it's not the only way to do it. You could manually draw these walls and manually draw a curved roof and so forth and, and do it that way as well. Thank you.